Hello everyone, thank you for waiting and thank you for joining. Welcome to another session of Sash Factors live series. I am Carl Capellan and I am your host for today. This live stream session is also, can also be viewed on our Facebook and YouTube channels. I understand that we may have a lot of um, viewers outside the Philippines. So I would like to greet you in your native tongues. So should we have visitors or viewers from Indonesia, Sela, Selamat Pagi. It's also if we have our friends from Thailand, Sawarikrap Tokhon, Hongchu Karl Krap. Also, I understand that we may have viewers from Latin America. So to our Latin American viewers, hola todos, bienvenidos a otra vez en, a, a nuestro canal. Soy Carl y soy tu host. Ahorita vamos a platicar con nuestra visitante, todo en inglés, pero espero que él aún lo habrían disfrutado. ¿Están, ¿Están listos? Bueno, sigamos adelante. So welcome everyone. Good morning and thank, again, thank you for waiting. My name is Carl and I'm your host for today. Before we start our, our introducing our distinguished guest, let me give you a brief background of who she is. As CEO and founder of O Skin Med Spa, she has devoted 16 years into making women feel and look beautiful. Armed with a deeply rooted passion for skin aesthetics and nurturing instincts, her holistic approach to beauty and life in general has brought her success as a top-rated esthetician, entrepreneur, women's advocate, and a Christian philanthropist. She started her career as a California licensed esthetician inside a leased spare room in a beauty salon in Artesia, California in 2003. Her resilience and determination paid off as word spread about her talent and work ethics, which later earned her Woman of the Year Award, Top 100 Filipinos in the USA, AARP's Top 8 Woman Entrepreneur in LA, and a Mayor's Award for Entrepreneurs in Los Angeles. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our distinguished guest, the official skincare partner of Miss Universe 2020, and the living proof that we can achieve the American dream, Miss Olivia Guido Co. Hi everyone, hi Carl, and thank you for having me, such an honor, and I'm so blessed to be here today. Thank you, Miss O, and it's also a pleasure for us. Thank you for joining. I, we understand that you have quite a busy schedule, but we really appreciate, and we appreciate that you have time for us today. So before we start, I just want to um, ask you first, uh, Miss O, how are you, Miss O? How are I'm, things going in the U.S.? I'm very well, Carl. So thank you for asking. And um, actually, everything is opening up in Los Angeles now. So it's um, at, at least it's getting back to um, normal right now. So it, it's about like 70 to 80 um, percent. The businesses are already open, opening, and um, I'm so blessed that uh, we are able to have this chat right now. I'm very happy that things are getting better in Los Angeles because if, think, if businesses are opening up, all the more people would want to be beautiful and would rush to your, to, your, um, to your office or to your, to your spa as soon as possible time. Um, that's great to hear. So let's get the ball rolling and let's start with our first official question. Um, I get, the first official question is, could you tell us more about your life previously in the Philippines before you, you um, established your career in the United States? Yeah, so Carl, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I graduated in College of St. Benil in De La Salle University, and um, I studied a computer programmer major in, uh, it's a business administration major in computer application. So basically, I'm a programmer. 
um, in the Philippines. But then when I came to the U.S., I want to like pursue my passion, which is skincare. That's why I was um, I, I did enroll to become a cosmetologist at first, doing hair, doing skin, doing nails. But then it's everything, everything they talk about when they talk about skin, I always uh, you know, I just want to focus mainly 100% about skin. So I shifted from cosmetologist to becoming an esthetician. Wow. I mean, that's a leap of faith from becoming a computer savvy person to becoming a cosmetician, or, I mean, esthetician and being the best at it. Um, also, I was also checking, uh, Ms. O, your, your Instagram, and I see, I, and I saw rather that you have twins. And yes. I mean, they were they were playing with Rabia. So could you please tell us more about your kids? So I have four kids, Carl. They are on nine. They are eleven. Faith, uh, Timothy is nine, and the twins. Uh, um, they, they are six years old. So Toby and Julia, they are twins. So a total of four kids. I have a follow up question, uh, Miss Ho. What if one of your daughters would want to be? Uh, part of Miss Universe too? Or would want to be a beauty queen? Would, would you support the person? Would you support your, your, your daughter, I mean? Yes, of course. Whatever she has um, in her heart, what she wants to do, I'll support her all the way. Uh, with, if, uh, if she wants to become a beauty queen, then I, I will be there for her as a mom. As early as now, po, uh, Miss, Miss O, do you see any of, from any of your kids the, the business acumen that you have? Na parang, I think this person or this kid of mine would continue the business yeah, uh, for the second I, yeah. generation, that is. Yeah, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm praying that uh, this is also uh, their passion. But um, I, I see like my two uh, girls are into beauty and they... What my, my eldest said she wants to be a comma dermatologist and be a doctor for skin. So I'm hoping and praying that that, that, that will be the God's, God's leading for her. I'm excited for your kid, and I would love to see her continue the legacy and the business and the second generation bringing this to the next level and, and reaching a wider audience as, as the years would, would go by. Um, thank, you for, thank you for that, Ms. O. So let's move to, to the next question that we have for you. And this is, again, regarding... Uh, I'm sorry, let me digress first. I got so excited. So I wasn't able to, to frame the questionings that we have. For our listeners currently, sorry, this is my first time. Please bear with me. Um, this is the interview that we have for Miss O. Miss O, just so you know, if you're not aware of, is the official skincare sponsor of Miss Universe. Now, this interview would be divided into three parts. The first part is getting to know Miss O and then getting to know um, her business, of course. And lastly, getting to know or uh, d digging deeper on, on her partnership with the Miss Universe organization. So going back, Miss O, uh, we, have an we have another question for you that we would flash on the screen so you would know what the question is. The next question is, drum roll. Mm, what's the question? How, how did you develop your penchant for beauty and how did it lead you into your foray to the beauty business in the United States? That's a very good question, Carl. So ever since uh, I was young, I'm really, really passionate about, uh, you know, makeup, beauty, skin. So those are my passion. And then when I was growing up as a, uh, as a teenager, I used to suffer from a, a lot of acne. So I had lots of pimples, a lot of breakouts, and it left a lot of brown spots and discoloration on my face. So that being said, um, I reached out to different doctors and dermatologists to help me uh, clear out my skin. So they were, the dermatologist was able to remove all the acne and pimples on my face, but it left a yellow stain on my skin so that you know uh, went along for how many years and then it kind of gave me a very low self-esteem because of the yellow stain that I had so um, when I came to the U.S. I said I want to like pursue the passion that I like which is skincare and I was able to learn and check and see what are the things that I can do for myself to you know um, remove the yellow stain that I had 
and then that made me um that made me say that if i can do uh you know any changes on my skin if i can solve problems of of, of myself then i can also do this to other people so i was able to learn develop develop, develop formulas um that are very very effective um so i was able to cater to different um you know people here in the united states oh i see personally i mean i the reason why I wanted to do this interview is I'm 37 years old and more than half of my life I have been battling acne. So skincare is something which is close to my heart and that's the reason why I would love to speak with, I, I told them I would love to speak with you because this is something I can relate with. And I'm sure everybody may be a man or a woman or regardless of, of what age you are, you would always want to have a very clear skin and beautiful skin like yours. I mean, I remember when I first saw your skin, oh my God, it's like an apparition. It's like your skin is glowing. So that's something, I mean, I envy that. Um, thank you so much for, for, for telling us a, be, a brief background on how you ventured into the beauty business. Now we will transition, uh, Ms. O, to your business itself. I mean, the business itself. I mean, O Skin Med Spa. So let's talk about your your business. Uh, your business. And the first question is, uh, let me let me read from my from my cheat sheet. Is, um, I mean, can you tell us more about the humble beginnings of your business? We researched about it. We saw videos of your interviews from Karina and some articles. But for the benefit of those who haven't encountered you yet, or this is the first time that they would they would uh, know you, could you please tell us more about the humble beginnings of your business? Yes, so Carl, my humble beginning was it started um, when I came here in America. I was studying skincare, but I have to like find a job that would, you know, um, uh, sustain my expenses here. So I was, uh, I clean windows, Carl. I clean, um, like uh, I would say, I sweep floors. So those are the uh, type of work that I did when I was starting. Like the the living the American dream is not easy, like as um, as you've heard, uh, but when one once you once you started in America, there's no way na I'm gonna give up. I said this. There will be a lot of fail, failures along the way, but um, I said I, I want to pursue my dream. So during that time that I was in, still in school and I was working at the same time, uh, I was able to you know save up some money in order to put up a business, um, you know, a, a startup business in, in America. Um, so thank you for, for being for being vulnerable and letting us know about the things that you did. I mean, right now we're seeing the I mean the successful Miss O, but thank you for sharing with us the things that you did um, before reaching where you are currently right now. And we really do appreciate that. Um, also, the next question would be: Could you please tell us more? I mean, you've mentioned about um, how you entered into to the business. Could you please tell us, let us know what is the vision? or the mission of O Skin Med Spa? Yeah, the vision and the mission of O Skin Med Spa is to make a lot of men and women out there to build up their self-esteem. I want them to, you know, to um, have... Uh, uh, you know, you can live with good skin, you know, you don't have to suffer with acne, you don't have to suffer with melasma discoloration on your face, everything can be corrected. So those are my mission and vision for, for my company. Um, so I, aside from correcting or for treating skin, skin um, challenges, what I hear from you, uh, Ms. O, is that you also advocate the maintenance of, of skin, keeping it healthy and keeping it clear and, 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 and um, glowing. Um, am, am I correct? Yes, correct. And Carl, I want to also inspire everyone that they have to uh, you know, they have to take care of themselves, like take care of the skin, keep it hydrated, drink a lot of water, make sure that you apply sunblock even though you're inside the house. I hear you saying giving us tips. So if you're going to give us one tip, only one tip on how to keep our skin healthy, what would be your, your number one tip for us? Never sleep without washing your face. Never sleep without uh, with makeup on. So um, do not be lazy on uh, on you know taking care of yourself. So I think the most important uh, tip that I will give everyone is make sure that you always clean your face at the end of the day because there's a lot of dust, oil, makeup, debris, and everything that you know na dumikit sa skin. We have to remove it at the end of the day. 
Okay. So guys, please remember, do not sleep with your makeup on. No matter how expensive your makeup, per Miss O, take it off. Okay? Thank you, Miss O. Um, you. Going back, um, there's another question I have for you. Um, could you please bring us to the point wherein you had your most challenging um, experience starting up? And, and, how did you, and how did you overcome it? So I think the hardest part, Carl, because, you know, from the Philippines to America, it's peso to dollar. The conversion rate is so high. You know, like even though when you are in the Philippines, you save up a lot of money. But when you come to America, that conversion is very, very little. So you have to, you know, make the most out of your budget. You know, um, I would say going to school, uh, having, you know, you budgeting every single day for your living expense. I think that was the hardest part for me. And how did you overcome it? I mean, um, so given that particular um, challenge that you had to overcome, what are the steps that you, you, you take to, to triumph over it? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, live within your means. You don't like, uh, you don't want to spend too much outside your comfort zone, deba. Right? So I would say that, um, you know, being in that situation, I, I, I can remember vividly that, uh, I started. I started a small. I rented a small space inside the salon. It's a small kitchen. Um, it, it was very, very hard to get clientele. So I think the first two years was the hardest part in the business because um, for every hundred flyers that I pass out, uh, like on the windshield and in, in front of the supermarket, only one or two people will call me uh, because, you know, the trust factor is not there yet because, you know, who would go to a uh, hairstylist that just graduated last month, right? So same thing with the face. If you just graduated as a licensed esthetician, people won't trust you right away. So you have to, you know, build that and build that through the years. Um, I think um, those are the hard um, lessons Lessons that I had when I was starting. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. I also have a follow-up question if you don't mind, Ms. Ho. Um, at which point in your career did you tell yourself na, okay, this is it. I mean, my, 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 my career is, is going somewhere or the business is going up or growing. At which point or at which year? I would what are say what are the signs? I would say on the seventh year, so it's not uh, that easy. It took me seven years to build my clientele, to build the trust from the people here in America. And um, and then I would say uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, failures along the way. There's a lot of things that got me depressed a little bit because it's not, grow the business wasn't growing, not until on the seventh year. Um, I would say I I, you know, I was, about to give up sometimes some, some days i i'm like i'm about to give up but some days i when i wake up i said i want to do it i want to make it i want to make it big because uh carl i'm the only one who came here from america everyone in my family my parents my sisters all my siblings are based in the philippines until now so i just came here to tour and i did go back you know how like you're, you're starting out in a different country without your family i think that was uh, you know a hard hard part for me how were you able to hold on within those seven years of, of plateau, if I may say so? Yes, um, I think because of the vision that I had, uh, I have this vision that I want to make, I want to make it and I want to um, like just pursue like the passion and the dreams that I have in my heart. Okay. So it's, I, I, what I hear Paul, is you let your vision um, guide you. It's like your North Star. To, to do the right thing and to, and to keep on soldiering on so that you will be able to achieve whatever your goals in life are. Yes. Tama and, po ba? Yes, and I set a navigation. You know how like when you drive, you put a navigation on where your destination you want to be. But so I, I have that destination in mind that I have. So, you know, I, I just navigate with God's grace and God's help. I was able to uh, you know, I would always pray for wisdom, which uh, route sh should I take? Should I take the left? Should I take right? There was a lot of decisions that needs to be done along the way. And um, yeah, so there's a, the, the prayer is very, very powerful, Carl. I appreciate you telling about you, how God has has helped you along the way. And, and really, you are living up to your, your Christian philanthropy philosophy, Miss O. 
and, yes. and I want to say I'm so proud of you for, 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 for doing so. Thank you. And then, Carl, I learned uh, that a friend of mine told me that, Miss, oh, you have to do tithing. So I was like, what is tithing? I didn't, I never heard of tithing. So, and then she said, she, she said, uh, she opened up the Bible and she said, on Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, it says there, give your tithes to the storehouse, which is 10% of what you're, you make or what's your income. And then um, test me on this, says the Lord, and I will open doors of heaven, pour out so much blessings. There's not enough room to receive it. So when I heard that, I was like, is that really true like is it re does that really exist so i was like um testing the lord at, at one point and then i was so now uh fast forward 14 years later um i'm still a tighter for 14 years and i've seen how the lord um bless us like bless the business and, and bless the staff as well oh. thank you miss also guys if you haven't tried tithing yet now is the time because Miss O is a living proof that it works. Uh, Miss O, let's move on to, to some questions that we have. Um, what products or services are you most famous for? Let's say I would like to book uh, an appointment first time. So what would you, I mean, what is, is, what is your uh, spa best known for? Okay, the spa is very known for uh, the O-Skin Signature Facial. Sorry, I'm going to move you a little bit so I can see the comment. Okay. Yeah, so um, the, the, hold on. Okay, there you go. So yes. the most popular, the most popular services that we have in the spa is the O Signature Facial. So O Signature Facial comprises with uh, services from head to toe. So it's not we're, not, we're not only touching your face, but we're touching all the way up to your feet. We pamper you all the way. So those are the things that, um, you know, the clients are looking for all the time. Um, at one point, we were on, on our Saturday, we were pretty much booked eight months ahead. So you have to wait wow. eight months uh, on, a, on a weekend for you to get the slot. So I'm very blessed about that. And um, so now weekdays are more um, lenient. So we, we get we have more bookings on weekdays. But for weekends, which uh, everyone is most of the clients are off on weekends. So pretty much we are super booked on weekends so thank you wow. i am excited to hear that you know when you said po pampering i'm sold it's like if i were in the u.s here take my money i want to be pampered <laughs> yes so, <laughs> yes so is it um i mean your business i mean when 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 we hear the word miss o one word um flashes it's like when you say miss o it's it's pampering did, did, yes did, did, yes did, yes did, 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 yes um, Sir, please continue. Sir, go go ahead. I apologize. Um, I, I was I was I, I mean I wanted to ask you this since you are the official sponsor of a skincare sponsor that is of Miss Universe. Uh, would you also have um, products and services for for women of color, just in case our potential Miss Universe twenty twenty will be a woman of color as well? Yes, um, actually, Miss Sozi, uh, Miss Universe Sozi was able to use my products when I wa last year, and then she said that the Secret Gold Twenty Four Carat is uh, one of her favorites. So I believe that that product was fe I, you know, I, I that product was featured, Carl, actually on Forbes magazine as one of the wow. top secret uh, secret gold product um, that's uh, that's available in the market and that secret gold is you when you apply it on the skin carl you will have amazingly bright and light skin in just one night that's why all the miss universe um, beauty delegates last year they were posting on their social media about the secret gold how how nice it is and and how much they love the product so i think um that's one of the best selling product that we have that's great for all skin types have you, I mean, I'm just curious, but have you tried it on Gazini Pop by any chance last year? Yes, I was able to do, I think I was able to do facial uh, for her last year. And then um, some of the delegates also, like when when uh, Miss Universe Philippines candidates from Venus Ra all the way up to Miss Pia works back, every time they come to America, I will pamper them. All right. Speaking of, can you please tell us more of your celebrity clientele? 
Oh, okay. Celebrity clientele. I have a lot of Filipino celebrities. When they come to the U.S., they will always come and visit us. Um, one of them is uh, Lea Salonga. I've done Sam Milby. I've done Angel Loxin, Casey, Pia. Um, there's a lot more, uh, you know, celebrities that I, I, I de las alas and da Daniel Matsunaga. So there's so many uh, Filipino celebrities, when they come to the U.S., they make sure that they come and visit me. And I was able to do the son of Michael Jackson, which is Prince Jackson. Prince. Um, yes, Prince. he came to the spa with his girlfriend and celebrated his birthday at the spa. I also had um, like Patty Austin, the beautiful singer, and yes. um, Thelma Hopkins. There's so many... Uh, TV series uh, like celebrities that I've done already because bef before Oscar Awards, well, one, once they have a red carpet Oscar Awards, Golden Globe, Emmy Awards, we will do their facial prior to the event. So they will like go to the hotel and all my, uh, like some of my staff will go to the hotel and pamper these beautiful celebrities before the red carpet. Wow. I mean, with a lot of famous names under your belt, I am very much surprised with the level of, I mean with the level of humility that you have currently Miss O because I mean we were able to speak prior to this to this to this live live stream and I was really taken aback by by your humility and, and you being really simple and really being just very beautiful. So I mean despite of how much you've I mean how how far you've reached or how successful you've become you're you're, you're still humble and, and we really appreciate that. Um, so let's much. go on to the next question. Um, so, for example, I mean, it's, I mean, let's say I'm walking on Rode Rodeo Drive and I see a lady. How would I know if that lady is Alagang Miss O? You will know if she's Alagang Miss O if I take care of her, if she has glowing skin. So, you know, like uh, a skin that is dewy, a skin that is glowing. And also, uh, like, she would even though without makeup. So I think um, that is our, that is our, you know, that's how we want to uh, come. How do you say that? It's, you know, like when, when I see people, they have glowing skin and um, if they have, if, even though they have, they, they don't have makeup, but they have glowing skin, that's our alagang Miss O. Alagang Miss O. Miss O, I have a question. So what's the difference between glowy and oily? <laughs> okay, no, glowing skin is uh, because of it's healthy, you know, you can see the dewiness, you can see the glowing, but oily skin is mostly very oily and very, I would say, uh, usually when somebody is very oily, the skin, ten the tendency of the skin is also a little bit darker than it usually is. So until they wash their face, they become brighter again. So oily skin normally is... Um, you can actually see the the oiliness all over the face. But the dewiness, I would say, you know, it's mostly on the high points of the face. So dewiness meaning like the high points, meaning the high the, the upper cheek is brighter, the, the forehead, the T-zone is brighter. So those are the my definition of having a dewy skin. Thank you. But thank you for, for differentiating for us the difference between glowy and oily skin. Um Currently, Paul, uh, Ms. O, if we have the chance to be in the U.S., how many branches do you have currently and where, where can we go to avail your services? Yeah, so we have two branches. One in um, near, it's in Cerritos Mall, near the, uh, what's that, Disneyland. And the other one is in Los Angeles area. Both are inside the mall. But we have distributors, distributors in Nepal, in Dubai, in, um, also in... <laughs> Canada and then in the Philippines and then we also have distributors in uh, different countries and we get so many inquiries uh, lately because of being a skincare partner of Miss Universe we get so much inquiries that people wants to distribute our products worldwide as Ms. well. Miss O, with that in mind, I have a question. I mean, other brands have encountered counterfeiting. So currently, with with your name getting a, reaching a wider audience in, in and being more famous as, as than it it is currently now. What are your what are your measures that you have in place to counter to counter um or to fight rather counterfeiting of your products? 
Oh, okay, the uh, you know the safest way is to buy at in our website. So uh, it's gonna be at oskinmedspa.com just to uh, make sure that everything is legit. But so far, thank God, I haven't seen any counterfeit from any of our clients. So I mean, like from like I haven't heard from our clients about any counterfeit about our product. So okay, thank God. I guess God is protecting your business too, and yeah. and and and, and, it, and it's a great thing. Um, now we've reached a point of the conversation po, wherein we're going to discuss what everybody's dying to know, which is the details regarding your partnership with the Miss Universe organization. So the first question would be, um, I understand that this is your second year with Miss Universe organization, po, right? Yes. So can you tell us more on, your, on how your partnership with MUO uh, come into fruition? Ah, uh, how did it start it? You mean like, or yes, how... How did you start? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um, I got a phone call one day, and then uh, I, 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 my, a friend of mine said that, "Hey, Miss O, um, this is one of your. I know this is one of your dreams, and Miss Universe organization will contact you today to be the official skincare partner for the Miss Universe organization." So I was. It was like six a.m. I remember. So I uh, hang up the phone and I. Uh, you know, I went back to sleep. So when I woke up, I was like, is that true? Or was that like a dream? So then I called my friend again and said, hey, did, did you call me? Like, did, was that, you know, was that a, a, uh, a the conversation about Miss Universe? Was that real? So they said, yeah. And then they're going to call you at two, four, uh, like two, um, two o'clock in the afternoon with the full organization from the VP, vice president, from the media, social, like everyone that is involved in the Miss Universe organization will have a a call with me so I was like so nervous and so um you know but then it ended up a very it ended up to be a very nice conversation uh and then you know I was able to until now I was able to have a great connection with everyone in the Miss Universe organization so I am very very blessed to be in that position I can imagine for you must be in cloud nine when you first got that call tama po ba? Yes, and actually, when I had the the conference call, like I, I after I hang up, I was like super uh, in shock and super in awe that did that really happen? Because we were discussing about being the Miss Universe partner, being like taking care of the ninety one beauty delegates all over the world. Uh, they want me to be there a certain time, certain date, uh, and there's also like a beauty talk that I have to do with the beauty queens all over the world. Uh, I have to put together a specific regimen for all of them just to make them glow on the special day. Um, I'm just curious, but have you done facials for for, for uh, Paula Sugar and for Esther Swan? Um, I haven't because they haven't been to LA lately. But if they do, I would love to do that. But some of the like uh, Miss Universe uh, people who already came to you know to la i was able to do that for them and then um some of the candidates too as well who who came to la i was able to pamper them as well well they should i mean they should avail of it as soon as possible time because i feel they're missing they're missing half of their lives <laughs> let's move on Poto, to the next question um is the partnership for for up to this year only or do you plan to extend it um, to the or to maintain the partnership for for years to come. Okay, God willing, um, we are all already discussing something with Miss Universe, so it's not a uh, it, it's not a, a final detail yet. But I will keep everyone posted. It's about uh, Miss Universe putting their name in my product. So those are the things that we are going to look forward to in the next few months. Okay, pa. Um, now, what are your thoughts? on having Filipino sponsors, being major sponsors, and having Filipino representation in Miss Universe. I love that. I love the fact that uh, a lot of Filipino companies are already part of Miss Universe, and I am so happy and honored um, to be working with them as well. Wow. I mean, we here in the Philippines, we, we feel immense pride to see you, Po, and, and Jojo Burgais representing and waving and raising the flag, representing the Philippines, and showing the world, to the world, that the Filipino can do it, and we can live the American dream, 
and we can be in Miss Universe. Aside from winning it, we can also be sponsors and partners as well. Exactly. Um, Exactly. So, Carl, from head to foot, like we will take care of all the beauty delegates from me and Jojo Bragai. So, I'm excited to meet him as well. With that in mind, po, that leads me to my next question. What are the perks in store for the next Miss Universe under Miss O? Uh, they will have like a free skincare for the whole year. And, uh, I, uh, and then when they come to LA, I would really pamper them from head to toe. So um, basically, they will have skincare for the, the whole year of their reigning, uh, being a reigning as a queen in the Miss Universe. Um, we are down to our last two questions. But we would like to know first if we have questions in the chat that perhaps... Miss O could answer. Um, Andy, could you, would you be able to check if we have answer or we have questions in the chat? Do we have questions for Miss O? Guys, this is your time. This is your time to shine. If you have questions for Miss O, please, wag lang humingi ng libre ha, or bikin na miyan. Oh, we have from Dove Parkon Villarias. Her skin is so radiant and white. I, I agree. When I saw her kanina, wow, my apparition. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we have Enna Banyas watching from B B Bukidnon. Hi, hi Enna. Hi, Any Anna. other questions? Hi, Enna. Um, sorry, Miss, Miss, um, Miss O, would, would you like to greet your family here in the Philippines as well? Of they, course. They may be. They may be uh, watching that right yeah, now. Yeah, of course, I want to greet my parents, uh, Papa Simeon and Mommy Lolita, my sister Sheila and Lester Kido. So they're all based in the Philippines. And I just want to say hi to all of you. I miss you and I love you all. When was the last time for you, you, you spoke with them? You have spoken with them? Yesterday, we always uh, we always um, like do chats and we always do video video calls. Okay. We also have uh, Roland John Arbues, who's watching from ne Negros Occidental. Hello, how are you? All right. So it seems that we don't have questions from our viewers, but we do have people who wish to have shout outs coming from um, from from Miss O. So we can have, I guess we can facilitate a few more shout outs for, oh, Manuel Flores, Colombia, Laura Olasquaga. Hola, Manuel. ¿Qué tal? Bienvenido. I love Miss Colombia. She's so beautiful inside and out. So especially, and also Miss uh, Miss El Salvador, Vanessa Velasquez. She's also very pretty. And our very own Miss Philippines, Rabia Mateo. So I was able to get to know them on a deeper le level. So I am uh, very proud of these beautiful girls. So I cannot wait to meet the other candidates as well. So um, I cannot uh, wait to see all of them actually on May, mid-May, where I will do a beauty talk with all of them. All right. Um, for, uh, for Paul Joffrey Barabbas, Miss O, you have a very humble heart. May God bless you more and more every way. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Any, any more words of um, encourage or um, words, kind words rather from, from our viewers uh, for for Miss for Miss O. So there's a lot oh, of what's up from Thailand. Hello, John, uh, John Paul. Sawadee crap. So we have here from Lea Licarte, Miss O. Uh, and, and then I just want to say hi to her and Lorna Flores Vio John. So thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you, Paul. Now, I guess we've, we've come to the point um, of asking you, Miss O. Miss O, I mean, right now, you have given us a very inspirational story of your life. How, how you, from your humble beginnings to the, to, the, to the success you're currently enjoying right now, what would be your message to everyone or to anyone who would like to emulate or, or telling right now, I would like to be or I would want to be the next Miss O? 
Okay, my message to you is put God first in everything that you do. Um, it says in the Bible, seek first the kingdom of God and everything else shall be added unto you. So everything meaning, you know, a good relationship, good health. Uh, and, and just put God first in everything that you do. He will give you wisdom. You know, do not be afraid of failure because, you know, failure is part of success. So, um, and also I want to inspire everyone just to do good. You know, if, if you are in a situation where you can build people up, then do so. If, 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 um, you know, if you are, if, if some words that are going to come out of your mouth are not good, just don't say it. So those are the things that I want to tell everyone. And I want to inspire everyone to start building each other up, spread love and then um, mabuhay ang mga Pilipino. Very well said. Thank you so much. And and lastly, um, what would be your message to the next Miss Universe? My message is to the next Miss Universe is um, to have that, you know, use that stage to inspire people, to bring people together, to make sure that, uh, you know, all the people that needs help will be, uh, matutulungan natin, di ba? So, uh, use that platform to bring bring uh, bring people together, unite people together, and then spread love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss O, for your for your time that you spent with us. It's um, I know we know you're very busy, but you went out of your way to to have some time with us and to share with us your story and your success story. Any final message to, to all the viewers of okay. Sash Factor? Yeah, to all the members of the Sash Factor, thank you guys for always supporting. And then every post that I do, I always tag you, Deva, because I'm very grateful to all of you. Kay, kay, uh, uh, I, uh, everyone in the in the member of the Sash Factor, you guys are doing very well. And there's a lot of following, so I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much, Miss O. May God bless you and may your business prosper more. Please continue being a blessing to everyone aside from all the, the beauties of, of Miss Universe. Thank so you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Po. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carl. Have a good day. Salamat. Thank you. Po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Well, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us in our um, session with Miss O. And this is again Carl Capelan. I just want to say, es todo para hoy. Te veo pronto. Nos vemos. Hasta luego. Bye bye.